Welcome everybody. It is Claudia with Patchwork with Claudia. Today we are working on the pick block. To make this block we will need several pieces with different sizes. I will leave all measurements in the comments. So let's see it how it works. Here we have all pieces that we need for this block. As you notice we have pieces with different sizes. To make this block easier we can label the fabrics to work on an easier way. So let's see it. These squares that are the same size we can label it A1, A2, A3. Now let's go to do it with fabric B. These two are the same size, so it will be B1, B2, B3. All of these will be B4, B5, B6. Now with fabric C, C1 and C2. And fabric D, D1. Now we are able to develop our block using the correct pieces. So we are going to start assembling our block using um, fabric A1 and B1. So let's start it assembling our block. So I have here A1 and B1. For A1 we are going to draw a diagonal line. We are going to sew on, those, on that line. So we are taking our rectangle B1 and we are going to place the square on the top of the rectangle. So be this way and we are going to sew. Then we are going to cut this part and we are going to open to get this way. Now we are going to place the other one and we place the line that be opposite. So when you have then To start sewing, you will organize your fabrics this way. Now it's time to sew these two pieces. These two pieces are ready. Now we are going to take piece A3 and B2 and we are going to put them together. We sew here. This one is ready. Now we are going to take A3 and B6 and we are going to work on them. So we are going to take B6 here and we are going to draw a diagonal line and we are going to sew on that line. So we are going to place this one this way and we are going to place this one this way. So then you sew, you press and you open. 
and will be this way. When you organize the pieces, they will be this way. So now let's sew. These two pieces are ready. Now we are going to take two squares from fabric B that we label it B4. And we are going to take two of the squares. And we are going to Organize this way and we are going to sew here and here. Now we continue with the four squares from the B4 section. So we draw a diagonal line. We are going to sew on this line. So we are going to take the four squares and the two rectangles from fabric C. We label it these rectangles C1. So we are going to position in the fabrics this way. Then this one here. This one this way. And this one here. So we are going to sew. We are going to cut. We are going to Press and open. So we are going to get a figure like this. So let's sew. Now we are going to take the three squares for, from fabric C and the last two squares from fabric D and we are going to put them together. So we are going to do this way. We are going to put all the pieces together.
This piece is ready. Now we need to trim it. We are going to cut here a half an inch, here half an inch, and in the bottom a quarter of an inch. Here it is, this piece needs to be one and a quarter by four and a half. Now we are taking this piece, this piece and this one to put them together. Now we can organize all pieces to continue assembling our block. So we are going to, this is the center piece in the top. We are going to join this to here. Now here, this one is here. These two go here, and these two go here. In the bottom, this part goes here, and these two go here. So now we can start assembling the rows, and then we can join them.
I would like to show you that the pieces that go here on this side, on each side, they were too small. By mistake, I cut these rectangles half of an inch smaller, so I needed to redo it, but the measurements that I posted are correct. Just was a mistake during cutting. So here are the pieces that we really needed. The other two, as you notice, they were too small by a half of an inch. I would like to show you because we can make mistakes while we are working on our projects and it is okay. As soon as we notice before we finish the project. So now we can Put this here together to continue assembling our block. Now we can join the rows. Here is the block, now we can press it one more time and it is done. Here is our ending block. I invite you to practice it, share the videos, subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up. See you next time here in Password with Claudia. Bye.